mystic cynic guy. Shit, ho got a hell of a grip. It's never a problem to make us smiling and bitches. Looking for cheap MT and much 16 coin? Head on down to logger.com. Hey guys, what's up? It's your boy JRock447 back at it again with some NCAA basketball 10. And uh oh, uh oh, it is the Hofstra Pride. We're going up against the Duke Blue Devils. You guys know I don't like Duke. You guys know that we took an L against Gonzaga last game and we gotta come back firing, okay? We got to come back firing. You guys see we're sticking with the same lineup. We have two small guards, but, you know, we got some size in the front court, and that's what matters. You know, Duke, they don't have a lot of size in their back court, nor do they have a lot of size in their front court. So we're going to probably have to take advantage of that. And, you know, a lot of these teams do not go deep into their lineup. So without further ado, we're in Cameron Indoor. I really hate Duke, and I really hope we can get this victory. So... The ball is up, and we do control the tip as Joshua Everidge has the ball. This this sophomore has really been eaten this season, and look at Shaka extending his range as he knocks down that shot. He's been doing that all season. That's what I love about Shaka. So, we still have the ball. It's a 2-2 ball game. Joshua Everidge making his way to that rim, getting there successfully as he gets those two points. So, Tyson Chambers is going to kick it out to Joshua Everidge, who pulls up and knocks down the shot. Okay, so... So far, so good for us. We're hanging in there with Duke. They're a good team, even though they're not ranked. We're still 11th in the nation. So, Shaka Wembley, he missed that shot, but Damian Dunn is still there. No, that was Shaka Wembley who made it. So, on a, on a, what am I even saying, okay? We're down by one point with 10, 16 left to go, and that is Joshua Average. Knock it down, another shot. This time, it was a three ball, okay? So, so far, so good for us, but Duke, they're not going away. They're not going away. They're not going to quit. I don't know why I expect that to happen with every team. But I, as I said, we're a second half team. So we'll wait to the second half to see who's the real team out here. Because uh, Major, he's really scoring on us. Has not missed a shot yet. But this game is really still intact. We don't have a deep bench. So we're probably not going to dip deep into our bench either. So that's one of the problems. So we're going to have to keep a lot of our starters in. We have Mashawn Holmes in the game because we know he can make threes. But Tyson Chambers, don't forget that he can make threes. Falling away, he knocks that down. So Joshua Everett still in the game at point guard. You know, we're keeping him in. He's going to go up. Gets that layup to go. Joshua Everidge, he is so ambidextrous. The dexterity of his moves just boggles my mind. Mashawn Holmes, he has the ball. He's going to pull up. Coming off the pick, misses it. But Damian Dunn is right there. Gets the layup to go under the bucket. So we're going on a 9-0 run right now. Duke has not had any answers, but they do stop the run. They do stop the run, and that's an and one. Joshua Average fouled Bobby Major. Bobby Major, absolutely fantastic. 24 points and 9 rebounds? Goodness gracious. That's absolutely disgusting what he's doing right now. But Joshua Average, he's going to pull up, and he knocks down a jumper. So that puts us up by 2, but now the game is tied up, and Duke takes the lead. This is Cameron Indoor. It's hard to, it's hard to win here. It is hard. But we got Derek Coffey in the game. Chocolate. Coffee, he gets it to go in there. Afro, Afro, come on, you can't stop the fro. Cannot stop it. All right, so Duke, they get the ball on the block, and they do get the bucket to go, putting them back up by two points. So we're down by two. We kick it to Shaka. Shaka Wimberly has the ball on the perimeter, calling for a pick from Coffee, and he's just going to pull up, and he knocks it down. Like, I'm not going to say he's a Damian Hastings, but I'm going to say he can extend his range. So don't don't think that he can't do that. And Derek Coffee. He can knock down some threes as well, okay? He's been waiting a long time to get the recognition, and he's starting to get it, and he almost gets a steal right there. Duke just throws it up, and they knock it down. Bobby Major with 23 points already. Holy cow. That He is playing out of his mind right now. That is unbelievable. So Derek Coffey is going to get the ball, knocks down the shot, so we go back up by six points. And Derek Coffey's already got six points, but you hear it. You, hear, you see the screen shaking. That is because Duke is a dangerous place to play, but Derek Coffey says it don't matter, man. What does he have to lose? This is his senior season. What does he have to lose? Nothing. All right. So we're up by seven. Derek Coffey's going to pull up, misses the jumper. Shaka gives it back. Doug Givens knocks it down at the buzzer, putting us up by nine as we go into halftime. Leading by 9, 46 to 37, a high-octane game. Nevertheless, we are, we are going up and down that floor. 
going up and down that floor. All we got to do is stop Bobby Major. Bobby Major is keeping them in the game. He accounts for more than half of his team's points right now. And we have to stop that. There's no way that we should let that go by. But we're shooting 62%, which is not going to stay at all. It's not going to stay. So we got to do something else. We got to play defense. Letting 37 points go past is not a good thing. All right, we got to calm this crowd as well. We're taking and making the three at an efficient rate. But we, 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 we still got to play basketball. We're a second-half team, as you guys know. So we got to prove it. All right? So Tyson Chambers, he just pulls up, knocks down the shot. Easy. That's easy for him, okay? He could play point two, but, you know, Joshua Everett, he's doing such a great job. I didn't want to take him out. And look at that. Shaco Wimbley. He's just so good. Just so good. If he's not an All-American this year, I don't know. I don't know what they're going to do. And he gets fouled, and he'll be going to the line. Duke, yeah, come on. You fouled him. Don't play that. So he's majoring in anthropology. Isn't that weird? Because I'm taking an anthropology class. Uh, it's kind of boring. But, you know, I'm doing pretty good in the class. But, you know, that is not what we're talking about. What we're talking about is this game right here in Cameron Indoor. One of the nastiest looking arenas ever. Oh, my God. So gross. So ugly. So bad. Duke, why would you even play here? But it doesn't matter because Derek Coffey. He, he's playing like he's high on caffeine right now, man. Oh, my gosh. He's so good good this recruit I would never have thought he would have the impact in a game like this but he has definitely shown me what he could have been those past three years and because of all the players that we lost last year you know he has to step in and have a larger role on his team so Chaka Wembley getting an assist as he passed it to who the f who was that I think that was Grant Richards we have Grant Richards in the game holy cow Grant Richards in the game. Grant Richards gets another bucket. Grant Richards, he's a walk-on, man. A walk-on. But he's getting some PT in this game. We kick it out to Derek Coffey. Splash. We got an answer for Bobby Major. And his name is Derek Coffey. But we're only up by two. Okay, so Joshua Everett says, why not? And he misses it. That is not Joshua's game. Josh's game is not to shoot threes at all. He's a facilitator, but he can create his own shot. But we do get the rebound. Thankfully, Damian Dunn secures it. Joshua Everett pulling. He's not going to pull up. He's going to call for a pick from Shaka Wembley. He's going to pass it to Shaka. Shaka pump fakes once, and now he decides to shoot, and he misses it. Very uncharacteristic for the pride these past uh, two possessions. And ooh, Duke gets an amazing alley-oop. I tried to throw the alley-oop to somebody playing pickup the other day. Did not work out. All right. He was pretty tall. He was like 6'2", but, you know, I didn't I didn't think he could dunk. I, I just threw the alley. He's like, hey, yo, get this. And ooh, Damian Dunn with a nice putback slam. So we're still up by two. With 2.52 left, we got our starters in, and we got Derek Coffey. All right, Doug Givens is not on the floor. So, you know, defensively, we're taking, we're not really that big right now, but Derek Coffey, he, he's the leader right now. He is the senior leader, and he's going to pull up and knocks down a shot, putting us up by three with two minutes left to go. So we still got to play defense. We cannot take our foot off the pedal. And, dude, they just keep on getting buckets inside. That is killing us. We still have four timeouts. Derek Coffey's going to pump it, call for a pick, going to pull up again, knocks down a shot in rhythm, putting us up by one. So a 136 left to go. The Blue Devils, we get a block, but they get it back, and they I don't know how they get these shots to go. I don't know how. So with 113 left, they have the ball, and they make another crazy shot. Like, they're making absolutely difficult shots. This is almost unfair at this point unfair at this point putting them up by three so we gotta get a bucket we passed to Derek Coffey can he not Derek Coffey is clutch Derek Coffey is clutch he is clutch so game tied up at 74 but dude they still not they have not missed anything in the past three minutes which is unbelievable so we still gotta get a shot Tyson Chambers gonna pull up he knocks down a three putting us up by one point with 42 seconds left to go so this crowd it's they're getting they're getting wild they're getting ratchet as they say and dude they find a man in the corner we gotta play defense and they miss a shot so we pass it to Derek Coffey with 28 seconds left Joshua Average, Joshua Average, he puts up the shot for no reason. So Duke is going to have to start fouling. And you know when it's a hard place to play, how loud the crowd gets. We miss, we miss the first free throw barely. 
So with 17 seconds left, Duke is going to call a timeout. Duke is going to call a timeout. All right, 14 seconds left on the clock. They still have the ball. They're going to they're gonna probably hold it. No, they do not hold it. They indeed shoot it, and they miss. So Shaka Wembley. Shaka Wembley at the line. Can he knock down a free throw? No, he cannot. The crowd is too loud. So with six seconds left, Duke will have the chance. Duke will have the chance to win this game. So with four, three seconds, two seconds, no man around him. And oh, my God. We lose it. We lose it in the final seconds. Bobby Major scored 35 points and had 13 rebounds. Shocker Wembley almost with a double double. But Derek Coffey, 29 points. That's absolutely amazing. Either way, we still end up coming out with the loss. But a quality loss because we did lose away. But anyway, this has been another J Rob video. Remember to like, comment, subscribe, and peace.